Hello everyone, this is Sunit Kumar and what I'm going to talk in this video, this in this video I'm going to talk UPSC Mathematical Optional uh, Subject and I'm going to solve some question asked in UPSC Mathematics and it will give you some idea that how one should write the answer in exam. That's important ki exam mein answer kaise karna ye bahut important hai because there is a question subjective pattern there is no objective that you will mug up or you will find some counter example and all that you are not able to do that so here you need the concept so that's what i'm going to give in this video or coming videos so that you will be very confident and you are not going to make any mistakes in coming UPSC exams okay so without wasting your time let's come to here and understand the question first and let's see how one should approach the problem right so this question asked in UPSC means 2017 question is very clear paper 2 section a question 1 question number c find the supremum of the infimum of x by find the supremum and the infimum of this function x by sin x on the interval 0 sub i right Okay, question is very straightforward. Hai. They also expect that you should answer the question in a straightforward way. You don't have to write the garbage or nonsense. Right? Find the supremum and the infimum of this function. Function should be clear. x by sin x. Where on this interval? 0 sin pi by Correct? Hai? So, how do you approach this step? So, I will start. How do you think? What will your approach? How do you approach the problems? Ko? That's important. Solving problem is not good. Your approach is important. My approach is correct or wrong? That's important. Let's see. Okay, so, iske liye, first of all, you should recall some things. So, recall if f maps from, correct? Hai na? If maps from AB to R continuous, hai na? if f is continuous. Okay, if f maps from a b to r, if this is continuous and f attains maximum or minimum at x equal to x naught, at x equal to x naught in the integer point in the open interval. Okay? So what is this? If f is mapping from a b to r continuous and f attains maximum or minimum at a point x equal to x naught which lies in the interior point and f is differentiable at x equal to x naught then derivative at x naught must be zero. Correct? Hai? So what I have to what I have recalled, so recall this thing f maps from a b to r which is continuous and f attains maximum or minimum at a point x equal to x naught if somehow you know that my function is differentiable at that point and that point is my interior point so you know you should know the interior what do you mean by interior point you know in 11 12 standard we used to do for the maximum or minimum derivatives would be zero and all that there we are assuming because my interval was the real number so every point is the interior point of real number so that's why the maximum minimum at interior point means and function was by default differentiable that's why we used to take the derivative at that point must be zero but that concept we should not carry forward for arbitrary interval of real number for that we need that point is interior or not so these are the basic part of real analysis that's why if everything is same like calculus then there is no benefit of real right but there is a difference hence there is a real analysis ka important part what do you mean by interior point what do you mean by closer point what do you mean by boundary point what do you mean by derived set right what do you mean by the closer these are the sections where you can see going to ask the question and they have asked clearly link that question they have not used the interior but they want you should know or you don't know right okay so this is one of the approach you don't have to recall this but here I am giving you the way that how to approach the problem okay so this is so if this is going to do derivative is equal to 0 this I am going to do as an exercise please prove this okay I am not going to do this okay so first learn this ki exam answer kaise dena hai important ye hai sochna kaise hai answer ko ke dogo but agar wo galat direction answer de ro you are not able to get the marks correct hai na so take so because this is a 10 marks question, you have to write. You don't have to give the reasoning and uh, this is multiple choice question. You have to write. So you should know how to write. Okay? So recall this. So this is thing I'm going to erase. 
I hope you should know. If you don't know, prove this. Take it. <clears throat> so this is this. Here my function. What is my function? Function is very straightforward. X sin x, where x belongs to 0 sin pi by 2. Just look at the limit. X tends to 0 of fx. 0 by 0, 1. Limiting value x tends to pi by 2. X by sin x. What is this? pi by 2, this is nothing but pi by 2. Take it? Now, so I know that pi by 2 is greater than 1. So, for the maximum value, it should be either pi by 2 or greater than pi by 2 or the minimum value is either 1 or less than 1. If less than 1 will happen, then definitely it is going to happen in, in between 0 to pi by 2. And if it maxima happen other than pi by 2, maximum value is greater than pi by 2, that is definitely going to happen integer point at from 0 to pi by 2. That means, and this function is differentiable, hence derivative at that point is 0. So let's look at the derivative. Now what is the f prime x? So differentiate fx with respect to x. We have, so this is the way you have to write. So differentiate fx with respect to x, we have, what is that f prime x? Use that, sin x square this is sin x minus x what is sin x the derivative cos x and this we can easily prove this is positive for all x belongs to 0 say pi by 2 what is the reasoning sin x not pi by 2 take that straight because tan x is greater than x for all x belongs to 0 say pi by 2 10 is worth of x bar. Okay. Derivative if you need 0. Derivative if you need 0. Means upper wala part is 0. Because sin x and 0 so pi by 2 ke beech mein kabhi 0 nio sakti. So if this part, ever part is equal to 0. This means sin x is equal to. That means sin x is equal to. So f prime x is equal to 0. Implies sin x is equal to x cos x. That means 10 x is equal to x. So does there exist x? from 0 to pi by 2 such that tan x is equal to x and answer is no and we know that tan x is greater than x hence this expression is greater and this expression is greater so this has no solution in 0 to pi by 2 so it is positive derivative is positive because tan x is greater than x in this interval 0 to pi by 2 this is important interval is important and this is positive hence function will attain neither maxima nor minima in between 0 say pi by 2 hence <coughs> so this comes up what I have shown that function is increasing here you know so therefore f is increasing in 0 say pi by 2 so infimum of fx this x belongs to 0 say pi by 2 is nothing but 1 and sup of fx that x belongs to 0 say pi by 2 is equal to pi by 2. Simple. So in increasing function, up to increasing function at where it will attain minima at initial point 0 and where it will attain maxima ending point pi by 2. 0 is not in your domain, but you have to take the limit x tends to 0. So x by sin x is 1. X, x tends to 0 because this is the 0 by 0 form. So that's 1 and here it is this part. So answer is 1 and pi by 2. If you write in the exam on this, this will not take the more than 2 minutes. It will not take the more than 2 minutes. Because here I have to explain. That's why it taking 6 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Because here I have to give the ideas, right? Here I am not writing the exam. You are going to write the exam. So it's my duty to give you the ideas. Hey, look, this is the way to do. Right? If you don't know, it's not a crime. You have to work hard. You need the proper guidance. You need the guidance where you should know ki, well, this is the way I have to do. I was doing this in different way. That was I was using a lot of mistakes. But here, now onwards, I will not make mistakes. Because this is a very straightforward question. And my answer should be straightforward. It will not contain any garbage, any nonsense reasoning. It should be crystal clear argument. Right? So think, so that's the way to do this. Mind you will have some different ideas 
a different way, fine, that's fine. But this I thought is the simple way because to answer this question I have many ways. I have 10, 12 ways to answer this question. But that is too much lengthy. I don't want to go on that because for the time is for the hardcore mathematics. But UPSC means very easy subject, very easy mathematics. They need answer should be also easy so that anyone can understand your answer. Okay? So I hope you got the idea and even though your basics are not good, some things written here might be your engineer or, or some commerce background student or science graduate, doesn't matter. If you are interested, think about mathematics option. It's very scoring. This is the only paper you can score 100 out of 100 if you have written clearly and this is the only paper you will get 0. But don't think about the 0, you will get the 100. But if your ideas are good, if your approach is good, if you know how I have to write the answer, that's important. Okay? So thank you for watching my videos, it really means a lot to me, thank you so much.